What up, it's your boy Nautastic, and welcome back for the month of December. Um, we've got a packed schedule this month, as always, with the English leagues. So we're going to split it over two episodes, and in the first one, we're going to tackle a few games, and there could be key ones come the end of the season. As you saw, Week Chief has finally been completed, so we move back into our actual home. And I look forward to it. <laughs> Obviously, playing West Ham here, so um, we want to christen this return with a good result. Naturally, we'll start the game on the front foot. So, so far, oh, had that gone in, I would have loved it. Would have been my favourite goal. I think possibly ever scored. Actually, no, I take that back. That Jack Turner goal, in I think it was the first season, that forever be my favourite. Great cost, there you go. Joe Riley. Haven't seen him crop up enough, but comes up at the key time and we're going to half time 1 0 up. So, West Ham have been quite disappointing this game. Well, I don't want to jinx it just yet, obviously, naturally, it's a touch wood. We can see this one out. If not, even like add to our lead because. This has been all us so far. Right, so many minutes done. Oh, what a finish, Tom Lawrence. What a finish. Gorgeous. Come on. Ten minutes to go, and we are cruising. I'm going to bring some subs on. As you can see, there's a... A ton of injuries hampering the squad, so we've got some made up players like Nighting or the. No idea who they are, but they'll uh, fill up, make up the numbers. And uh, we take all three points. So we're still in the top two, which is cr like, amazing. So far, we are exceeding even my most wild expectations. But so that, I mean, it's no surprise my job status is untouchable. Um, my contract makes me always on the edge because I always put as low as possible just to make more money available. But it is what it is. Let's see who we get in the third round. And we have got Charlton. <laughs> the lads that let us borrow their ground for so long on so many occasions are the ones that we have to face it. There you go, we've got Brighton now though, and um, they actually have a very good record against us. They had dumped us out of the Carling Cup, or sorry, the Capital One Cup. So um, it'd be nice to try and get one over on them. But we know the size of the task. Hey, the Zeki Fires didn't get the memo, 1 0 up. Come on, get into it. Oh, what a free kick, fair play. Fair play. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, good football. And Harrop, as always, from that right-hand side, is a massive threat. Now, all we have to do is take this to half-time with the lead intact. And come on. Yes. So that's half time. Now we can sort of reset ourselves, um, treat this as a completely new half, and do the same again. Tame but dominant so far. 15 minutes or 10 minutes left. And we are, are looking good. No, I mean, no, this isn't the time. That's free kick. God damn it. It's 
really annoying. Just moments away. So close to winning it. Can we steal it again? Doesn't look like it. So there you go. Draw. Um, we probably should have won, but never mind. We'll move on. A draw isn't all that bad, I suppose. Especially considering our lead position. So just take it on the chin and move on. There's no point worrying too much about it. But who do we have next? We've got Bournemouth next. And these games are coming thick and fast. There's no real respite at all, so. Let's go. We're still in second place, and Bournemouth are third place, so it's actually quite a big game, this. And they are a very strong opposition. Oof, good save. That's it, that's it. Oh, damn it. He did look a little off, to be fair. Passing it around well. But it comes to nothing. That's it. Nice. Oh, so close. Come on. Stop this. Stop this. Oh, damn it. Good goal by Bournemouth. Fully deserved. Um. We just have a goal of our own as well. It's been a quite even half this. Come on, we're on the stroke, let's go. Damn it. So Bournemouth go on the happier side, but there should still be an opportunity for us. I mean it's been quite a very even cost cut yes, cut spook. It's been quite an even contest. Um it's hard. I like to think that the spoils being split would be a fair result. But right now, Bournemouth are all over me. They're exerting their dominance and it is showing. There you go. Can't complain too much about that goal. It was coming. So. And uh, it looks like we're going to lose two now. No. So, good result for Bournemouth. That knocks us out of the top two, but we're only third, so not the end of the world. And uh, we get a chance. We're still in that sort of group of teams, so we still have a chance to push on at another stage during the season. But we, uh, we want to take this next game, and I'm going to make this game the last game of this episode. Um, we want to try and propel ourselves back up. Um, Derby are a good team. Um, they did push for promotion last season, and then I'm sure they're going to do the home this year. I'm talking about real life here, so they know what playing in the championship is all about. This is our job to make sure that they have the uh, wrong picture, and that we are just. Demolishing all sort of previous presumptions about this league. That said, they are completely dominating the possession game. Not having many many chances of such, but uh, if you had to pick a team of the two that look the of the sort of stronger team, it would be them. But the key thing and the key stat is that one at the top. No, no. Um, we start again. Keeper saves. Oh, 
stops the finish. Fair play, that was a great goal. Got the garage, yes. Oh, should have scored there. Wasted opportunity. And um, I have to be honest, we haven't really looked like we're going to come back into this game. That chance aside, it has been pretty much all um. Hmm, come on, boys. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Wasteful. playing there you go there's the killer strike I have to say when I played the derby they've uh, sort of stuck their knife in when it's already stabbed by uh, a Bournemouth and um, that should open up a gap between us me and the top two which is a bit disappointing but it is what it is and uh, we'll have to end December strong so we don't get cast adrift too much but for now, I'm going to end the episode, and uh, catch you all next time. Bye-bye now.